morning class i hope you all are doing well and following instructions of lockdown not going outside or following instructions of your parents also and you are doing studies also at home okay so in the previous class of computer we were doing charts uh, we inserted charts we discussed about the types of chart it's chapter 4 so now we will carry on that topic so before uh, going ahead we will just have a quick recap of the topics that we did earlier in this chapter so what were the topics first of all we did chart introduction introduction means what is chart what is chart a chart is a chart is graphical representation of data or charts and graphs are more attractive and appealing than a simple presentation of data uh then advantages of chart what are the advantages like charts present data and information in in attractive manner then charts present data and information in compact manner charts are easier to understand and compare charts have a long lasting effect on the mind than a simple data statement for example if i'll give you a text if i'll give you some lines of text you will forget it but if i will give you it in the form of chart then you can easily remember it like which data was high which was low which was uh, like which was equal you can remember those things more than the text now components of chart components of charts we have studied what were the components these are the components of chart chart title data labels plot area this whole is called plot area this is a plot area is a uh, it is a rectangular area bounded by two axes what are those two axes y axis x axis okay these are x axis and these are y axis and this area is called plot area on which these x axis and y axis are given now the grid lines grid lines as i told you if you have seen graph in the in that graph paper you must have noticed the line vertical and horizontal so similarly here we can also have horizontal lines they they show the grid lines basically then data labels we can give data labels here then chart area this whole area is called the chart area apart from this we are having legend also legend is not given over here i'll show you next in the next chart i can show you what is legend legend identifies each data series in a unique color or pattern okay like suppose if we are having two things like um, we are storing marks of math science and math marks will be shown with different color uh, science marks will be shown with different color so that is called legend then uh, there is one more thing data points data points means these these are called data points these are also called data labels the bars lines slices or other elements that represent the data value these are called data points okay so then we did chart types what are chart types types of chart column chart line chart pie chart then bar chart area chart scatter chart and other charts we did all these types of charts and in previous class also in excel i explained you how we can insert all these types of chart and how we can change the chart type suppose if you have drawn a pie chart and you want to change it to the uh, corn chart then we can change it how what were the steps just try to recall what were the steps we will do right click we will get change chart type we will click on that and from there we can change the type of chart so this all we learned in the previous classes so now today's topic is spark lines in excel or spark line chart in excel now what is the spark line chart sparkline chart is a embedded chart it's a tiny chart 
that gets embedded in a single cell embedded means uh, to fit to fit inside a single cell in the worksheet just try to understand the definition a backline chart is a tiny chart tiny means small tiny chart that gets embedded or that gets fitted into a single cell in the worksheet it provides the visual representation of selected data microsoft excel 2010 has introduced this feature to show and analyze the trends of data now this sparkline chart could be of three types like line sparkline column sparkline and win and loss sparkline now this line shows the trend in data at equal intervals column shows the data changes over a period of time or illustrates comparisons among items and this win loss uh, win loss shows whether a cell value is positive positive means a win negative a loss or a zero a tie okay so we will create a spark line chart but for creating the spark line chart where we have to go we have to go to excel so now first we will open excel we will minimize it from here we can open excel now we have opened excel now as we have done already we cannot create a chart without data so first we should have a data in this excel sheet only then we can create a chart so first we will create a small data over here how to create that data just have a look at that i am typing a data mark sheet i'm just making it caps lock so that you can easily understand just have a look at screen so that you can see what i am doing that is also important you should learn from my doing also okay what i am doing now i'm just selecting it to enhance the size of the font from where we can enhance the size of the font here in home we can enhance the size of font there is spelling mistake we we'll look correct at first okay so mark sheet i have given the name here now i'll make four um, columns name name then i'll take maths then i'll take english okay just to cut it short i'm taking only two columns i'm enhancing the size of the field by dragging you can see how i'm enhancing okay now i am enhancing this also so that it's easily visible to you okay is it visible i think it's visible now okay 18 font size i am doing okay now this is a table which is having names of students post ravi arya disha rima these are the student name these are their marks okay these are their maths marks now i am entering english marks oh i made mistake again okay these are the marks Suppose these are the marks that we have entered. Now I'll do one more thing. I'll do center align. Why I'm doing center align so that all the data comes in center. It's not looking like nice in that way. 
these are the things that we have already learned in previous classes so we will use all that knowledge over here just to make this data attractive okay so this way i have made center all the data now we will create sparkline chart okay so for creating this sparkline chart what i have to do first i have to select the data okay i have selected the data now where we will go we will go to insert tab in insert tab we will find that spark line where is it spark line chart chart we will find it's here we can see spark line and spark line as i told you told you there are three types line spark line column spark line and then this win loss spark line okay now first we will try with this line one i'll click on this as soon as i click on this there comes a dialog box okay now this uh, dialog box is asking you something choose the data that you want data range f6 to h10 already data we have selected from here this is f6 and this is h10 we have already selected the data range uh, in case if we have not selected we can specify here the data range Okay, now choose where you want the spark line to be uh, placed. Where you want to place your spark line chart. Okay, suppose I want to place my spark line chart somewhere here. Okay, I have to give the range over there. Suppose here, if I want to put it, it's D eighteen. Okay, I'll write here D eighteen two. till which place i want to put it i just specify that range suppose d18 to i want to put it here is somewhere here is d18 okay d18 is here so we will put it till this place g18 okay we will do g18 okay now okay reference location not location range it's giving some problem we will just try to sort this out okay location range i will try to select from here okay i have selected a range i'll click on okay now you can see now what was the problem that also i'll tell you it was not taking these range okay it was taking this f since our data is stored here in f2h so it was not somehow accepting that range so i gave this range f2h then this line chart has been created as we uh, line spark line okay we are doing spark line chart in that line type chart has been created now here you can see different types of the style are given so you can change the style suppose if i'll click on this again i have to select this and then i can change the style also okay 
uh, here we can change the color spar sparkling color suppose I took red so it has come in red you can notice the changes suppose if I take blue just notice here the blue sparkling chart has come why we call it embedded you can see this chart is inside the it's inside the cell only okay it's inside a cell only that's why we call it spark line chart okay it's embedded embedded inside a it's fitted inside a cell okay now marker color also we can change marker color marker color from here we can change again now we will do uh, the next type which was first was line then was column and then was win loss three types were there we can see here on left hand side this line column win loss now we will do column see as soon as i clicked on column you can see on the screen see here you can check it has changed into a column type spark line chart okay now again if i want this win loss i'll click on this win loss it has changed into a win loss type we can keep on changing i have come to line again okay we can change the style also we can have more styles like suppose this kind of style i took and this kind of style i took with this kind of style okay so these are the changes that we can do in a sparkling chart now to change the type of this sparkling chart from the type group of design tab as I show I have shown you here we can do the changes from here okay so uh, this is all in sparkling chart quickly I am having a brief recap of this session of today's session then you will do practice of this sparkling chart at your system also okay we were doing sparkling charts what are sparkline charts which are embedded inside a cell it's a tiny chart it's a small chart that gets embedded into a single cell in the worksheet and it provides the repre visual representation of selected data then how we created it we opened excel in excel we typed the data for creating a chart because we cannot create a chart without a data so uh, we created this data mark sheet names four names are there math and english marks are stored in this then i selected the data okay and after selection what i did i went to insert i went to insert tab and from there i selected sparkline okay and in sparkline we are having three types line sparkline chart column sparkline chart win loss spark line chart okay again again one more time i will create it in front of you okay let's see see we have selected the data now we will go to insert option and In insert we will try to find out Sparkline tab, Sparkline tab is there. Now on Sparkline, we can select one style line. After that, data range we have already selected. We will give the location range. So location range I am selecting in spite of giving over there. I have selected this location range. After selecting the location range, location range means where you want to. Uh, put your chart that is called location range now i will click on ok as soon as i clicked on ok this chart has been inserted this is line type of chart i can ch change it to column type of chart then i can also change it to the win loss type of chart ok see this way and i also told you how we can change the spark line color from here we can select any color and we can change the spark line color see here you can notice the changes blue color has come now we can change the marker 
point also suppose in this we are taking red okay this is marker point that we can change so this way we can make changes in the spark line chart so today's topic was basically spark line chart how many types of spark line how many sub options are there in spark line chart line column and win loss this is all for today students i hope you will uh, work on it you will do practice as well as you will read book also so that you can clear your concepts properly thank you